Hey guys, Dusty here. I thought I would show you what I eat in a day. Um, today is just a recovery day. It's not a big, huge, heavy training day. Um, the only thing that I have going on is a quick and easy swim first thing in the morning, followed up with a massage, and then no training after that. But I thought I would still show you what my diet consists of, um, especially on a recovery day. Probably be lots and lots of food. I'm less than two weeks out from Ironman Arizona now and I'm not trying to cut any weight. I know that's always a dangerous game to play a couple weeks leading into a race. I would rather be 10% under trained and five pounds heavier than my ideal weight versus being one pound too light or 1% over trained. So enjoy the video. So I start every day the same by chugging a bottle of Pharma Greens. Uh, this product is a bunch of servings of fruit and veggies and also alkalizes my body. And then for breakfast, I'm gonna have a bagel egg sandwich. So two fried eggs and then on the bagel, I'll put half cream cheese and half jam, cherry jam from my mom. And I did put some cheese on the eggs as well. And then I'll top it off with a slice of smoked maple ham. I also have some sliced apples that I didn't get to eat at work the other day. So a big apple sliced up with some peanut butter and Greek yogurt. And that'll consist of my breakfast. Hi Lily. Hi. Dada. No, it's Dada's food. I love when I'm able to eat breakfast with my little girl. Before I head off to the pool, I have enough time to have a quick coffee. I usually have a coffee every morning after, after breakfast and I just use my AeroPress to make a delicious cup of coffee. Now it's time for a change of clothes and let's head to the pool. So today's swim just looked like about 35-40 minutes and just 2k worth of work, mostly easy. After the swim, it's time to head to my massage and I'm gonna have a bottle of hydrogerance and a banana on my drive there just to get some extra food and some electrolytes in me. So after this awesome massage, I was uh, pretty wrecked. I was super tired and relaxed, so I had to grab myself a coffee and a large chocolate chip cookie. Shout out to Drum Roasters, they make the best coffee on Vancouver Island. And I made it home just in time to have lunch. Today is leftover pasta with some mushrooms, peas, ham, onion and peppers. And then I'm also going to have another bottle of hydrodurance. We just taught my daughter yesterday how to cheer, so that's always fun teaching her new tricks. A couple hours after lunch, I have to go and drop my car off for an oil change. So I'm making myself a little afternoon snack. I'll have a protein smoothie. This is a pretty typical one for me. I'll put a banana in, some frozen fruit, coconut oil, and some Farmer Pure Whey Isolate Protein from F2C Nutrition. Top it off with some almond milk. Put it in a to-go cup and head to the dealership. Had an hour to spare, so I read some Elon Musk. Head back home and it's time for me to make supper. I'm gonna make a healthy version of mac and cheese and there's actually no mac or cheese. Uh, the mac is going to be this spaghetti squash and then the cheese is going to be a cheese sauce that doesn't actually have cheese. It's made out of cashews, nutritional yeast, and a few other spices. While I get the spaghetti squash cooking in the oven, I'm going to cut up a bunch of veggies to add to the meal. So I'll use a red pepper, a zucchini, some mushrooms. An onion. And I'll cook that all in a big pot. Now it's time for me to make the cheese sauce. And if you want the recipe to this meal, I'll put it down below in the description as well. The original recipe just calls for the spaghetti squash and the cheese sauce. I like adding all the veggies just to add a little bit extra to it. 
Night cheese sauce is blended, and now I need to heat it up on the stove top until it gets thick. Spaghetti squash are done. Got to do the old fork test to make sure they're soft. And scoop out the spaghetti squash and put it into the pot with all the veggies. Now all that's left to do is pour in your delicious cheese sauce. And this recipe usually gives us plenty of leftovers for the next day, which is awesome. For dessert, I'm having a very generous helping of apple crumble with some Greek yogurt on top. And that's it. That's what I ate on this particular rest day. As you can tell, I'm not vegan or vegetarian. Um, I do make a lot of vegan and vegetarian recipes. And I try to make all my meals from scratch. Try to avoid processed foods as much as possible. Smoothies are huge for me. All of my sports specific nutrition really helps out. And another thing that really helps me out a lot is always making enough food so that I have leftovers for the next day. And if you have any questions about anything diet or nutrition related, just comment down below and I'll get back to you. And like always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe for more everything running triathlon and nutrition related.